Hi, I am CS KK Agarwal, your very own direct and indirect tax faculty. I have immense pleasure in presenting service tax part 3. This was the last slide of part 2 where we said India is up to 200 nautical mile from the baseline called EEZ. Now let us read further. This is notification number 14 oblique 2010. Let us first understand the picture. Let the blue patch be the area of EEZ. The orange patch outside EEZ. Let us call it high seas oblique foreign territory where service tax provisions are not applicable. Now inside the EEZ there is a installation of oil rig and wind power. Call it pick 1 and pick 2. Now let us analyze the notification. Point number 1 of the notification talks about the area which says the areas in the continental shelf and the EEZ of India. Now the question is whole area of EEZ or only designated areas in the EEZ. Point number A clarifies it to be whole area of continental shelf and EEZ. Point number 2 of the notification defines the purpose. It says that any service provided for all activities pertaining to construction of installations, structures and vessels for the purposes of prospecting or extraction or production PEP of mineral oil and natural gas and supply thereof. If both the conditions of area and purpose is satisfied, provisions of service tax is applicable. Now, if any or all services is provided in connection with wind power located in EEZ, then provisions of service tax is not applicable. This is point B of notification. It says that the installations, structures and vessels within the continental shelf and the EEZ of India constructed for the purposes of prospecting or extraction or production of mineral oil and natural gas. That is, it talks about location of constructed oil rig site. Column 2 defines the scope of service. It says any service provided or to be provided by or to such installations, structures and vessels and for supply of any goods connected with this said activity. It means services can be provided to constructed oil rig site or services can be provided from constructed oil rig site. Scope of service is being limited to oil rig located in SEZ. Now, analysis of entire section 64 with the help of shown picture. When I speak number one, look at the picture where one is written and follow the arrow mark. Number one, service is provided from high seas to oil rig located in 
EEZ liable to service tax as per the notification it is treated as import of service section 66a and taxation of service provided from outside india and received in india rules 2006 is also applicable number 2 service is provided from high seas to wind power located in eez not liable to service tax as per the notification and import of service rules number 3 service is provided from oil rig to dta liable to service tax as per section 64 number 4 service is provided from wind power to dta liable to service tax as per section 64 number 5 service is provided from dta to oil rig located in eez liable to service tax as per the notification now not treated as export of service number 6 service is provided from dta to wind power located in eez not liable to service tax as per the notification number 7 service is provided from oil rig to high seas not liable to service tax as per section 64 as treated as export of service number 8 service is provided from wind power to high seas not liable to service tax as per section 64 look at the picture where it is written domestic tariff area around that area there is a dark blue patch let us call it territorial waters of india which is up to 12 nautical mile now any services provided in this area is liable for service tax whether it is related to oil rig or wind power or ship breaking etc treatment of provisions of service tax is same as that of landmass or territorial waters of india consequent to issue of this notification following amendments have been carried out number 1 taxation of service provided from outside india and received in india rules 2006 also called import of service rules number 2 export of service rules 2005 under both the above rules definition of india has been amended to include within india such installations structures and vessels related to oil rig service provided from high seas oblique foreign territory to eez services provided in such installations structures and vessels from outside india shall be treated as service provided from outside india and received in india and thus will be a case of import of service attracting service tax liability in terms of section 66a of the finance act 1994 service provided from dta to eez services provided in such installations structures and vessels from india shall be treated as service provided in india and thus 
will not be a case of export of service thus this service will attract service tax liability further analysis services provided in domestic tariff area or territorial waters of india service tax levied in respect of all types of taxable service provided in dta and territorial waters of india except in jammu and kashmir and special economic zone services provided in eez only services related to oil rig is taxable services provided in high seas no services are taxable